Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and in today's video I'm going to go over my 2021 3D Blu-ray collection update. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification. You can also find me over Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd, that movie guy 365 Okay, in this video, I'm going to go over my 2021 3D Blu-ray collection. Now, if you are a 3D Blu-ray fan, you know times are a little bit tough for us collectors. With the studio support kind of waning as of the last few years, there are still titles that do come out. And of course, with COVID hitting last year, it was pretty much slim pickings as far as new releases go. There are a few studios that still support uh, North American 3D Blu-ray releases. Warner Brothers is going to be releasing Wonder Woman 1984 in 3D and presumably Godzilla vs. Kong, which I'm very excited about. And Universal just recently released The Crudes A New Age on the 3D format. I would say for the last several years at least, about 90% of all my 3D Blu-ray collection has been imported from places like the UK, Australia, even places such as Japan do have rare 3D collections. I believe Ralph Breaks the Internet was only available in 3D in that country. And, you know, as far as that goes, it's a little bit pricey, but it's something that is actually on my wish list. With collecting movies on the physical format, I typically separate them by 4K releases. I have a separate Blu-ray collection. Uh, Criterion Blu-rays have their own section, 3D Blu-rays, Marvel Cinematic Universe. But in this video, focusing purely on the 3D Blu-ray, so let's not waste any time, let's dive right in. Okay, we have my 3D Blu-ray cabinet here. Uh, this is a Best of Cabinet from Ikea, which I believe are still available. You can get them, uh, out there, let's say about like 75, 80 bucks for one of these units. So they're not too bad. They actually, they hold a lot of movies, so they're pretty cool. Yeah, 300, Rise of an Empire uh, over there. I, I got that at a dollar store. Like that was a dollar store buy. I was surprised to see it there and I was like, hey, why not? Um, the live action Aladdin is very good. Alita Battle Angel. Now this one, I do have the 4K Steelbook and that's over in the 4K section, but uh, Best Buy was ha had a sale for like, you know, this for, for 11 or $12. And I'm like, you know what? Just uh, get a separate copy and keep it in the 3D because sometimes you forget. Like I do actually have a few titles I'm gonna show in a little bit that are in the 4K collection because they're combo packs, you know, like the 3D 4Ks and Alita is one of them. But uh, Ant-Man, this is still one of the, the big regrets. I did not pick up the Steelbook edition of that. I was, I was still kind of like trying to, trying to like be more subjective when it came to like w Steelbook purchases and that was one of them. Uh, but Ant-Man and the Wasp, I did get the imported 3D Steelbook of that one. Aquaman, uh, 3D is excellent in that one. Uh, really just fantastic. Avatar. It's the movie that just that brought back 3D in a great way. Fantastic. Uh, I can literally talk about the 3D in that one all day. It's really just great. Uh, the original Avengers. Um, this one was back when... This is actually my first Steelbook purchase. Uh, that was back when Best Buy used to sell the Steelbooks separately. Like, you'd buy them for like five bucks, and then you'd get the movie down the line. Um, that's where I keep the 3D Blu-ray of the Avengers. Um, and of course you have, um, Age of Ultron right here. Uh, and, and then after that you had to start importing the Avengers movies because they didn't release them here in the States. Like you got Infinity War, still one of my favorite steel books and then Endgame, uh, just the standard slipcover for that. Uh, Beauty and the Beast animated just recently picked that up within the last six months or so. Uh, the live action also big hero six, uh, black Panther, great 3d in that one. Great 3d. Blade Runner 2049, uh, good 3D uh, conversion there. Book of Life, uh, I like this one a lot. This is, I feel, very underrated as a movie goes, and, and the picture is really excellent on that one. Uh, Captain America, The First Avenger. Uh, I just recently started watching my Marvel Cinematic Universe 2021 run, and I'm going all 3D this time, except for, of course, Iron Man, Iron Man 2. Um, but an incredible Hulk, but uh, uh, Thor was the first one, and then of course it takes off from there. But uh, and Captain America: Winter Soldier, love the Steelbook edition of that one, and Civil War, Captain Marvel, and I have Cars 2 here. That one I literally got for free from the Disney Movie uh, Rewards. Uh, I still am missing Cars 1 and 3. Um, those I'll be hopefully picking up sooner rather than later. Uh, we got Cloudy with the Chance of Meatballs, uh, one and two. 
Um, Coco, Coco, excellent 3D in that one. Um, really beautiful picture, really nice. Uh, Coraline, excellent. Um, there's the Crudes, the New Age, I mentioned that earlier. I still need to get the first one in uh, 3D. I'm on the hunt for that one. Uh, Despicable Me 2 and 3, I'm still missing the first one. So there's still quite a few 3D Blu-rays I'm missing, which, you know, part of the hunt is part of the fun of these, uh, of, of collecting. Uh, Detective Pikachu, great, great uh, depth in this one. The, the world is just really excellent. Um, Doctor Strange is probably one of my favorite Marvel 3D Blu-rays. The picture is excellent in that one. Uh, Dumbo, good, a uh, very good picture. Edge of Tomorrow, great. Um, the effects on that one are, are fantastic. Um, uh, Hobbs and Shaw, Fast, well, Fast and Furious presents Hobbs and Shaw. This one, the covers just backwards. It's just you know the way, the way it was printed. But uh, yeah, that one, that one's pretty good 3D. Um, Finding Nemo and Dory, I actually prefer the 3D picture on Nemo a little bit more, um, but they're both still excellent. Uh, Frozen and Frozen 2. Uh, Frozen, I felt, was very strong. Uh, the first the first one had a lot of great 3D elements to it. Ghost in the Shell, I actually prefer to watch this one in 3D. I have the 4K edition as well, and it's beautiful, but the, the imagery in the 3D is great. Um, uh, Godzilla 2014 and Godzilla King of the Monsters, both in 3D. Um, Excellent. You know, we got Godzilla vs. Kong coming out. Hopefully we do get a 3D Blu-ray. It's looking good. I think early listings are showing that it is coming. So, of course, you know, i got to have my giant monster movies in 3D. Excel you know, just excellent there. Um, Goosebumps, good. Very good. Gravity, oh man. If you have vertigo or any kind of, like, motion sickness, you might want to think twice about watching Gravity in 3D, but it's very excellent. Uh, the Great Gatsby. It's still one of my, like, why is this a 3D edition um, kind of even exist, but it's it's worth worth watching. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Um, love the Steelbook edition of this one. But, uh, yeah, uh, just, just overall really one of my favorite movies in 3D. I just recently completed the... Um the Hobbit trilogy 3D extended editions. I'm going to be I'm going to be uh, viewing these very soon. Um, Hotel Transylvania one and two. It's a shame the third one didn't get a, a physical 3D release. I know there was, I believe, a digital version on Voodoo or something. Um, How to Train Your Dragon one, two, and three. Uh, I just picked up the first two uh, maybe about a year or two ago. Um, the Incredibles two. Uh, good, good picture. Uh, Inside Out, really nice uh, 3D picture on that one. Iron Man, uh, the only Iron Man film that has the has 3D, uh, you know, for Blu-ray. Uh, the first two movies don't have any uh, 3D release, so just have the third one. Uh, John Carter 3D. Uh, I like this movie. This movie I feel is very underrated. Uh, this one got a lot of bad publicity leading out to the release. You should definitely watch it, whether it's in 2D or 3D. The 3D is pretty good. Um, Jungle Book. Great live action picture on that one. Jurassic Park, excellent. And of course, the, the two Jurassic World movies. Uh, Justice League. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, with the upcoming uh, Zack Snyder cut of Justice League, I seriously doubt we're going to be getting a 3D physical release of that cut. I, it's just, I very highly doubt it. Um, but I do have a 3D version of the theatrical cut. Take that for what it's worth. Uh, King Arthur, I think, had surprisingly good 3D to it. It's actually really uh, pretty excellent. Um, Life of Pi, you should, you know, I have the 4K edition of this one as well, but really, if you watch the 3D, if you watch the 4K, watch this movie. It's really great use. Ang Lee is a, a fantastic visual director. Uh, and of course we have Lion King, Lion King, uh, both the animated and the uh, live action. Mad Max Fury Road, excellent, uh, excellent. Uh, Man of Steel here, uh, this is actually, my 3D edition is in the Blu-ray case. Uh, I have the, the tin edition of that one. It's like really big tin. Uh, unfortunately, it's a bit of a shelf hog, so I put that in storage right now. But uh, the 3D edition is in, in that Blu-ray case. Uh, the Martian, uh, excellent, excellent. Uh, Meet the Robinsons, um, one of my favorite Disney movies. So this one really is very underrated in my opinion. The 3D's good. Uh, Megamind in 3D is honestly my preferred way of watching this movie. I love the 3D image in this one, and also I feel a very underrated film. 
Okay, we have the Megum 3D, uh, really good, good looking picture. That shark is huge, <laughs> it has a lot of depth to it. Uh, pretty, pretty excellent. Uh, Moana, the picture's okay on that one. I actually prefer the, the 4K edition. It brings out the colors a little bit more, but uh, the image is still pretty good on that one. Of course, you have Monsters, Inc., Monsters University, Monsters versus Aliens. Great, great size and depth to that one. Um, Mortal Engines. Uh, that one's, I, I also have the 4K edition of that one. Uh, it's, it's worth checking out, in my opinion, it's really good. Nightmare Before Christmas, good 3D post-conversion, really good. Um, Onward was one of the few releases from 2020 that came out on the format, so of course I had to import that one. Uh, Pacific Rim, uh, that one, if you are a 3D Blu-ray collector, you need to have that in your collection. It's really just that simple. It's it's huge robots and it's really really um, good one. Uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean, the last the fourth one I believe uh, was released in 3D Blu-ray here in the states, and of course the UK import of um, what we would call Dead Man Tell No Tales to Salazar's Revenge. Uh, I actually prefer that one. It's a nice looking steelbook also. Uh, the Polar Express, uh, I watch that movie every year on uh, for Christmas, and I watched the 3D edition last year. Uh, I can't recommend it enough. It's really a good a good 3D picture. Uh, Predator and Prometheus, uh, you know, Rampage, I love my giant monster movies. Uh, that one, uh, excellent. Uh, Ready Player One, great, great picture on that one. Uh, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, uh, good 3D in that one. Um, Shazam, good. Uh, it's a really good uh, picture on that. I just recently re uh, completed my Shrek collection in the format. Uh, this is like you know, the I'll admit it, I just I just recently watched the first Shrek. It's not mind blowing 3D. It's a lot of depth, uh, very little pop out. But uh, I'll be moving on to the other ones fairly soon. Uh, Solo, a Star Wars story, excellent. Spider Man Homecoming, Spider Man Far From Home. Uh, also, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, I believe that was an uh, import from India. Uh, I do not believe there was a release like in the UK or anything, but, uh, and then Star Trek Into Darkness, Star Trek Beyond, and Star Wars The Force Awakens. I just recently ordered The Last Jedi, um, that should be coming in the next couple weeks. So, um, yeah, and also I'll pick up Rise of Skywalker pretty much, uh, you know, soon after that. Yeah, we have uh, Tangled here. Um, this is actually the first modern 3D movie I watched in theaters. It wasn't Avatar, but uh, Tangled was was actually really cool. I love that lantern sequence. Uh, Terminator Genesis, that was a fairly recent pickup. Uh, Thor, um, I had to import that one. Uh, good 3D in that one, actually. Thor the Dark World. Thor Ragnarok has great 3D. Love that one. Uh, of course, you got Titanic. Every collection's got to have Titanic. <laughs> Toy Story 4, I do um, have that 3D of that one. I'm still looking for the first three. That's that's hopefully something I'll, I'll accomplish this year. I'll, I'll pick up the other three. Uh, Transformers, um, Dark of the Moon, uh, Age of Extinction, and Last Night, all in 3D. Uh, Tron Legacy, great, great 3D in that one. Up, fantastic looking picture in that. Um, Venom I felt was good. It was it was immersive, but it wasn't in, in my opinion spectacular 3D. But it still it was still pretty cool. Uh, Wizard of Oz um, that was a recent pickup, um, and I I really you know it, the the 4K looks amazing, but the 3D also is well done. Uh, the Wolverine, you know the Wolverine. This one I really should put in the Blu-ray section because I I like the director's cut more. Uh, unfortunately, that's only in 2D. And the th I, I, I think I've watched the 3D edition once, so I'm probably going to move that over to the standard Blu-ray side. Um, but yeah, uh, Wonder Woman. Uh, I mentioned earlier, Wonder Woman 84 is coming out on 3D, so that you know I have the original uh, World War Z uh, in 3D. Uh, also, that was a fairly cheap one. Uh, I got that one uh, for not too much, and we got Wreck It Ralph. I love the picture on that one. I think it's great. I think it looks great. And then, of course, we have Zootopia. And a couple of 3D Blu-ray 4K combo packs here. Um, I keep these mostly over in the 4K section. Uh, Kong Skull Island, really good 3D, uh, great picture. Um, you know, this, you know, with upcoming uh, Godzilla vs. Kong, I think a lot of people are going to be revisiting this one, and you should definitely check that one out. 
also um, because of my love for giant monster movies or kaiju, Pacific Rim Uprising, not the best movie. It really isn't, but it does scratch that itch of a giant monster robot kind of uh, film. Uh, the 4K looks great, uh, but the 3D is really the preferred way to watch it. And of course, Dread. Um, this one has the 4K 3D Blu-ray also inside. Great. No matter which version you go with, this is this is really excellent. Uh, and finally, um, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, the 4K Steelbook Edition with the 3D inside. Don't love the cover. I'll admit it. I don't love the cover for this one, but, you know, 3D is excellent. And it's a great uh, addition to the, my Marvel... I keep this one, actually, in my Marvel Cinematic Universe section. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, excellent 3D. That is my 2021 3D Blu-ray collection update video. I will post other videos for the other parts of my collection in the future, so look out for that. But I also want to hear from you in the comments. If you're a 3D Blu-ray collector, let's talk about some of your favorite titles in your collection. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.